For those of you new to the channel, welcome guys. For those of you returning, welcome back and thank you for your continued support. So as always, the readings that I'm doing here today are general tarot spreads and uh, they may not necessarily resonate with everyone watching. In that case, please just take what resonates with you and leave aside what doesn't. For those of you watching who would like a personal reading with me, please feel free to connect with me. My email address is going to be included just in the bottom of the video here in the show more section below, along with the different types of readings that I offer. And you may find that those readings resonate with you more closely as they are personal and more directly relate to you in your situation. So the spread the, the spread that I'm doing here today is intended for Aries Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. So let's take a look at the messages the cards hold for you here. So to begin you've got the Three of Cups, the Temperance and the Ten of Wands here. Okay Aries, so let's begin with the Three of Cups here. This governs the water element and it rules the signs of Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. Now, whenever we get the Three of Cups in a love reading, usually it's a welcome sight here, okay? Because the Three of Cups denotes um, happiness, joy, fun, affection, it's party, it's social occasions, gathering. Um, you know, it tells us that someone here feels very uplifted by your presence, okay? Uh, someone here feels very excited by you. Um, I'm picking up, um, there's a very strong emotional or a very, a very strong emotional connection or a very strong emotional attachment here that you share with someone or that you may not realize someone has for you here. Um, I'm picking up that this person... They're very into you and they, they seem very attached to you, especially at this point in time. Um, there's something about this particular, uh, like this particular mo uh, moment or this particular week or this particular point in time rather, um, that's causing them to almost cling to you. Okay? They're, they're very clingy to you. Look, they could be a water sign, born under um, a water sign, so a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. They may have water within their natal chart. They could be someone who displays the typical characteristics of a water sign. But this is someone who feels very uplifted by your presence, okay? Whenever someone talks about you, whenever they hear your name being mentioned, um, whenever they receive a text from you, uh, you know, they catch themselves smiling, you know? This is someone who's very... They're very into you, okay? Someone who's very into you, someone who um, is definitely liking what they see. Um, now, the only thing with the Three of Cups that it can also indicate a third-party situation, okay? The energies could be reversed here, and if you do have water within your natal chart, this could be you, okay? Um, this could be how you're feeling whenever you're around your special someone, okay? This is someone who gives you butterflies in the pit of your stomach, someone who gets you all giddy and excited, um, you can't wait to hear from this person, um, you know, you, you feel like all warm and fuzzy inside whenever their name comes up on your um, on your screen here, so it could be you, the energies are interchangeable and it could be that, uh, you know, this is someone whom you feel very excited Oh, this is someone whom you feel very strongly attached to. I'm getting there's a very strong attachment uh, to this person here. Okay. Um, but with the temperance card, temperance suggests to me that there's something about this particular situation or there's something about this particular connection with the person which requires patience here. Okay. Um, that there's some sort of patience is being required. So for some of you, because the three of cups, um, as I mentioned earlier, usually it is a welcome sight. But um, sometimes the three of cups can indicate that uh, there is a third party situation. So unfortunately, there may be someone else involved here. And maybe the patience card has appeared in the spread um, to let you know that, uh, you know, for those of you especially who find themselves in in um, a love triangle or in a third party situation, if you will. Um, patience is going to be, patience here, it needs to be exercised and patience will be required. Um, I almost get the sense that this is someone who, you're aware of this, okay? I don't feel like it's, uh, it's, sec um, it's secret, it's secretive. I don't feel, I feel like this is known. I feel like you are coming into the situation knowing what it is. Uh, and despite it being, um, an affair or um, a love triangle or a third party situation, you're willing to stick it out. You're willing to stick by them. Maybe this is someone who said to you, you know, um, that they're promising that the two of you have a future together or 
they're telling you that eventually when the time is right, they will tell their current partner, they will tell them, you know, that they're in love with you or they want to pursue this connection with you. Um, but it hasn't happened yet. And maybe that's where the whole notion of pa uh, patience comes into play here. The fact that you need to be, I'm seeing this being more of an emotional affair rather than a physical affair at this stage. So it's like it needs to, it hasn't taken off yet. There's something about this connection that requires you to be a little bit patient. And it's almost like this person is, um, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to uh, reassure you or they're trying to assure you that the two of you do have a future, the two of you belong together and you share a very strong attachment here, okay? And I feel like for some of you, this attachment, um, this attachment means that, you know, the two of you are very emotionally connected, so much so that despite it being a third party situation, you're still willing to pursue them or they're still willing to pursue you here. Okay. Um, it's for others of you, it's like someone who might have even disrespected you here. Okay. With, um, with the uh, three of cups, because the three of cups, um, Look, there's, there's good and bad to every card. There's good associations and, you know, not so good associations to every card. And sometimes the Three of Cups, it can be, um, it can represent gossiping, gossiping or bickering or someone, um, you know, running their mouth here. So you could be dealing, for others of you, it could be dealing, you could be dealing with someone who has disrespected you, okay, in the past or someone whom, um, who hasn't been so kind and gentle with their words or with their treatment of you and um you know and maybe this is someone who wants to come in and they want another chance okay so maybe he you're wanting to take things slow as a result um you're not willing to rush it and it's almost like you've lost a little bit of faith in them you know the fact that they've mistreated you once uh you know you're inclined to think that they, they're willing to do it again or they have it in them to do it again so here you are you're being a little bit more patient with this person or you're wanting to take your time you know um you want to, you're willing to give them the benefit of the doubt and to see um and to see if they can um you know they can atone they can atone for their um you know their behavior here the Ten of Wands, this is uh, your energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and uh, Ten of Wands is, um, this is hard work here, okay, this is uh, a lot of hard work. So in the image here, you've got a male here who is carrying a large bundle of sticks, um, he's heading towards a small town, which only seems to be um, a short distance away, right? His back is bent and, um, you know, he's being weighed down by all of this, uh, by all of the load that he's uh, ca uh, carrying or bearing here, rather. Um, so in a love reading, it could indicate that this is a bit of a high-maintenance relationship, okay? Um, this is a bit of a high-maintenance relationship or that you're going to have to put in work. This connection that you share with someone here is going, is, it's, it doesn't feel like it's, there's not a lot of free-flowing energy here. It just feels like, it's almost like you're forcing here. You're forcing, um, you know, for the pieces of the puzzles to fit, okay? Um, you're going to have to put in some work here. And um, unlike the Ten of Wands as well, you'll, you'll have to remember that um, it's not love if you're loving alone, okay? So uh, you can't be putting in all the work here, okay? You can't be like the Ten of Wands and... Um, you know, trying to carry all this weight all by yourself because eventually you will crumble from under all that pressure here. So, look, there is going to be some patience is going to be required with this connection and you're going to have to put in some work. It could be like a high-maintenance connection, a high-maintenance relationship. The person, your special someone, could be a little bit high-maintenance and could be a little bit difficult to deal with. Um, it could also, Ten of Wands, he could also indicate punishment, okay? And especially with the Temperance card, um, it's not that you're punishing or it's not that someone he's punishing you or that you're punishing them, but in a way, it sort of feels like it, kind of. Um, it's like now you're, maybe you're wanting to make your special someone work that little bit harder, you know. Um, if it is a third party situation um, and, you know, you're not the one that's um, 
getting all of their attention, you know, that their attention is then divided between yourself and someone else. I see you, it's almost like you're doing something to punish them. Maybe you're talking to them less. Maybe you're giving less of them their attention. Maybe you've given them an ultimatum and, you know, they eventually have to decide. Maybe you've given them a deadline. If they don't decide by the end of this month, then you're willing to walk away. It feels like there's some sort of, um, I'm going to say punishment because it kind of feels like that. I don't know if that's the most fitting word, but I guess you decide. Um, but it's like, you know, you're making them work harder here. You're, you're making them um, sweat a little here. Okay. And if it is someone who has mistreated you in the past um, and you know that you deserve better and here they are, they've uh, recognized and they've, um, you know, acknowledged this and they're wanting to come back and they want a second chance with you or, you know, here they are, they're telling you that um, they'll, um, you know, they'll improve and they'll become a better person for you and they'll treat you better. Um, but you're wanting them to put in the work, you know, because um, actions speak a lot louder than words here. So all of a sudden, it's like maybe they've, you know, they sound like a broken record and this is something that they've um, told you many times in the past. But all of a sudden, it's like, you know, I want you to show me rather than tell me his. So you're making someone work a lot harder for your attention, for your love here, for your um, affection. Uh, you're wanting them to put in work. You're making them sweat a little, okay? All right, Aries, and that pretty much sums up your spread, guys. Thank you for watching, for listening. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please don't forget to share, like, dislike, or comment below. For those of you that do want a reading with me, feel free to connect. Otherwise, take care, keep safe, and I'll catch up with you next week.